fight among ourselves. We need to work together to solve the big issues that are out there. We need to address a world that is slipping away. Thinking of the future, thinking of their children and their grandchildren and their great-grandchildren. Those who govern or misgovern through corporate patriarchy. That your time is over, we are going to shape another world. We are gathering to raise our voices to advocate for an earth-respecting cultural narrative, one of restore, respect, and to replace the narrative of domination, depletion, and destruction of nature. We are teachers and scientists, farmers and fishers, healers and helpers, workers and business people, writers and artists, decision makers and activists, leaders and thinkers. We work in the halls of power, the halls of faith, and in the halls of our homes. This is the time for a collaborative women's climate action movement. Extreme weather events are impacting millions of people each year and costing billions of dollars. We are headed toward a rise in global temperature over the next decades that will create an unprecedented havoc for our children, grandchildren, and future generations, a potential four degrees centigrade. Women are no longer willing to stand by when so much is at stake. After years of research and advocacy, Osprey Oriel Lake's vision of diverse women coming together from many countries and sectors to work on climate change and sustainability solutions is becoming a reality. Women advocating at the UN climate negotiations, working in grassroots organizations, indigenous and green businesswomen leaders working on common cause and solutions often have no platform to be connected to each other or at the level that could prove most potent. It became clear that women needed to come together within a holistic framework and with collaborative actions. As Osprey set forward in this work, she met Sally Ranney, a decades-long trailblazer environmental advocate. Together, they have forged a fierce commitment to making a difference, understanding the urgency of climate change and the need to act now. They created the International Women's Earth and Climate Summit and the Women's Earth and Climate Action Network, We Can, building on a global women's climate action movement. Women are disproportionately impacted by environmental and economic problems, yet they are key to the solutions. Between 60 and 80 percent of food production in most developing countries is the responsibility of women, along with the collection of water and fuel wood, which makes them particularly aware of changing weather patterns that alter growing seasons, decrease crop yields, and lower water levels. This knowledge is essential to adaptation and mitigation strategies. Women in North America are behind 80% of all consumer purchases, making them a strategic force for societal changes. With this knowledge and the help of many, in September 2013, 100 plus women leaders from the Global South and the Global North gathered in New York to sign a declaration statement and to draft a women's climate action agenda, outlining the specifics of an international effort to move forward with imminent solutions to address the climate crisis. With guiding principles of women's rights indigenous rights, nature's rights, and future generation rights, the summit uniquely brought together women with cross-sector and cross-cultural solutions, from indigenous leaders to former heads of state, from scientists to pioneers in fields of renewable energy, business, and policy. In order to ensure 
that the important work accomplished within the framework of the summit is disseminated. WECAN is focusing on the distribution of two of the most relevant collaborations, the Summit Declaration and the Women's Climate Action Agenda. The Summit Declaration is already being distributed worldwide by allied networks and is serving as a powerful organizing tool. When you're speaking about climate change, it's really important to hear from indigenous peoples and work and to support them in their struggles to not allow further oil development in their territories because this development will affect negatively climate change. Women's leadership at all levels is essential to a climate justice approach. Women from different and diverse backgrounds coming together, that's exactly what we need. As we engage in a holistic approach to climate and sustainability solutions, WECAN is now working on several projects and campaigns, including Women and Forests, a U.S. Women in Climate Summit, Resilient Community Trainings, Rights of Nature Advocacy, Direct Action Campaigns, and Advocacy and Education Programs. This is the time for transformational leadership and committed action. Women are putting the world on notice. No more delays. We call for policies and on-the-ground projects that protect our life-giving air, water, soils, forests, and oceans. Violence against the Earth and future generations is no longer tolerable. We will bring about the changes for a livable planet. Women and men of the world, please join us for the clarion call of our time.